what's going on guys hope you are having a great day out there today so today we are making the trip down to the bmx park again uh we're going to take with us the new crate and 8s the outcast outcast slash notorious success and the new big rock had to sing out once but haven't got to take it out for another rip so i think this thing will be a blast on the bmx track um also benjamin thanks for the stickers man appreciate it if you guys are into crawling and all that, go check out his Facebook page. It's uh, Backyard Crawling. A lot of great pictures, videos, stuff up on there. Go check them out sometime. But um, speaking of stickers, guys, I got my stickers made finally. Um, I'll put the link down in the description. Um, it'll ha take you to the site that has stickers. Um, there's stickers, there's hats, there's winter hats, there's hoodies, there's t-shirts, all that good stuff. Um, really excited about it. Kind of cool. Um, so if you guys are interested in supporting the channel and any of that stuff, you know, Go check it out. Maybe grab yourself a sticker. Um, these are the 4-inch stickers. There are 3-inch, 4-inch, and 5-inch. There will be smaller stickers to come here soon, but those are the options that are up right now. But uh, enough of that. Let's go have some fun down at the BMX Park, so stay tuned, guys. All right, guys. Well, we made it down to the BMX Park, and uh, so far we are all alone down here. Uh, it's kind of a overcast, blah day down here. Um, it's got like a really, really fine mist going on, but uh, we're going to bust the crate and ADAS out first and have a little fun with this thing. Um, as usual, uh, this might turn into a multi-part video. It all depends on how long the cars last and hold up. So let's get out there and uh, see how the Creighton likes to be a mech track. All right, we're going to start out on some of this kind of smaller jumps down here um, also I did change out the shock oil on this thing um, I got the 30 weight in the back now I also did just order the m2c racing piston set Ooh, she cleared that I wasn't really thinking I was gonna clear the whole, <laughs> whole thing but, uh, but yeah I got the m2c racing uh, shock uh, piston kit uh, with the new valving and their shock ends that they sell so Depending on how I like this, I'm going to install that also. Ooh, <laughs> we're clearing that. Nice. Thing is flying. Ooh. Dow. Oh. <laughs> well, caught just the top of that ramp. Kind of center nose first. Go flip this thing back on the rubber side. All right, we're going to center again off this thing, and then we're going to go roam around the track a little bit here. No problem launching off that thing. All right, we're going to mess around with the little tabletop here for a second. Ooh, ooh. Kind of nasty bots there. So far, these back shocks seem to be uh, a little bit better. It's still getting a lot of that bounce, but I know I'm not going to get rid of all of it. Um, it's going to have a little bit, but uh, I will mess around with it here a little longer and see how she takes some of this. I mean, it definitely seems like it improved a little bit. Um, not quite as nasty a bounce as now. Yeah, definitely a little better. Send her off these little doubles in here. Ooh, and cleared them nice. Just the right amount of speed. Creighton! Hey, that's is liking the track out here. It's a nice size. Whoop, overshot that a little bit. <laughs> a little bit too much gas. But yeah, the suspension definitely seems a little better. Not quite as bouncy. Able to control it a little bit better on this stuff now. Keep getting... Oh. Keep getting a little too trigger happy. Set her off his other side. Ooh, that was nice and smooth. Laid off the trigger a little bit on that one. Always want to rip into it, but the landings usually aren't always the best. Not trying to break everything, just trying to have some fun. Oh! Whoa. What do you think, guys? Should we send her off the uh, high wall? I think we might save that for the end. Be curious to see how the old Creighton would take that. 
Man, the air control is so much better. Being able to, oh, oh man, that was a hard hit. Wow. But yes, the air control is so much better on this thing now after changing around those settings. There we go, that's more like it. Definitely a lot more fun to drive this thing. Being able to actually correct it in the air. This rhythm section down here has always been hard. Always end up bouncing. It's like trying to get just the right timing down. That ah, was a little better. Coming this way is definitely tougher though. <laughs> Pretty much just bouncing into the face of every other one. All right, we've come over to our little fun uh, multi-plateau kind of jump thing here. It's about uh, 70, 72, 75 feet to right where I'm standing from the takeoff. So we're going to see if we can clear it with this thing. I'm thinking we can, but uh, let's give it a whirl. Oh, no problem. Oh, not such a pretty... <laughs> this. That was a nice smooth down ramp off of two. Boy, she cleared that nice. Nice smooth landing. Let's give it another rip again. There we go. Had to hit that second part with a little more speed. So I can hit catch that kicker. Man, Creighton is loving to be a mixed track guy. <laughs> Right down the nice smooth down ramp. All right, we'll hit this again. Oh, nice. It's a nice launch. You're about 75 feet with it. The car this big, <laughs> it's funny watching this thing fly that far. There are deer prints all over this track. Starts to make me wonder, like, are the deer out here holding their own races at night? <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go off this high wall. This one's still really large, but uh, we'll save the, the biggest one for last, but we're going to test it on this one and see how, see how the Crate and 8S takes it. Ooh, so far so good. <laughs> Pretty nasty landing. We'll give it another rip. Get a little more speed at it this time. Kind of wanted to test and see what the jump felt like on it. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Man, that thing caught some air and some distance off of that thing. So far, she's taking this track pretty nice. Was trying to hit that high wall, kind of coming this side. Not working out very well. Well guys, the time has come and this might be the last uh, clip <laughs> with the Creighton 8S. I don't want to break it, but I really want to try sending it off for this high wall. To see number one, if we can launch it, and uh, two, how she does hold up. Uh, the only thing I'm concerned about is how it comes off of this ramp because once this truck kind of gets a little crooked or bad in the air, um, it's kind of hard to correct it. It could come down badly on a corner or something, but uh, I guess we'll never know. So let's give her a rip. <laughs> Holy crap and she is still running it was a little bit ugly kind of coming off the end there but she uh she took it thing took it like a champ wow guys i cannot believe it just took that landing i mean again this is film perspective and it's hard to kind of get but i mean the top of this high wall here is probably a, a good 
20 feet high from down there. And then, I mean, it launched another, I don't know, probably 10, 15 feet above that. And uh, distance-wise, that's easily probably 75 foot out there. Um, <laughs> I mean, it, it's a good launch for a car this big, at least I think. You know, I know there's people out there that have done a lot far stupider stuff with them, but uh, it's impressive for the size of this thing to be launching and taking these kind of jumps. Well, we're going to send her one more time <laughs> before the batteries die. Oof. Okay, that was even worse. I can't. I managed to correct that thing at the last second coming down. It did come down a little hard there on the front passenger side wheel, but she's still steering and moving, so I think it's all right. I'm going to take a look at the shocks, make sure I didn't bend anything. Guys, she's perfect. Nothing, nothing bent, nothing tweaked. Uh, the frame is, the chassis is still straight as an arrow. Um, none of the shocks are tweaked or bent. None of the dry shafts are bent. I mean, this thing is, uh, is honestly taking this really, really well. I am super impressed with how tough this thing is. You know, I had a lot of people talking about, you know, telling me, you know, you can't really jump these things that much. And I'm sure I'm going to have bad landings in the future. You know, I am going to break more stuff, but you know, I was obviously kind of scared about jumping this thing really hard or doing much with it because I had a lot of people telling me that, you know, these things just can't take it. And it's all about how you land, obviously. You know, if you get a bad kick um, or a bad driver, things are going to break. Um, and I'm sure I'm going <laughs> to have some bad driving moments too with it. But uh, so far, this thing is just really impressing me a lot. Really taking a lot more abuse than I thought it was going to. thing is so much fun well guys we're gonna end the abuse on the Creighton <laughs> I don't know what it is the size of this thing down here on this track and the jumps are just absolutely perfect it is just so much fun ripping this thing around here but I know the batteries are got to be getting close to being dead so I'm sorry, I'm just having too much fun out here today. This thing is just a blast. Um, but we're gonna get keep it a little closer to the track or the front uh, so I don't have to carry this monster back to the track or the truck, should I say. Ooh, she was sideways. But uh, we're gonna head back over to the front side of the track now. Guys, I gotta tell you, you know, I try not to quote or do anything like anybody else out there. I just try to do my own thing. But, you know, in the words of Kevin Talbot, you know, it's not about the car, it's not about the brand, it's about what puts the biggest smile on your face. And today, right now, this thing is putting a huge smile on my face. I mean, I am just absolutely having a blast out here today with this thing. It's great and 8S on the BMX track it is way too much fun. Well, guys, this is pretty much going to wrap it up for the Crate and 8S down here at the BMX park. Um, as I was kind of thinking, this video got a little bit long. And uh, so we're going to definitely have the Outcast and the uh, Big Rock in other videos, probably. We, we will, <laughs> but not in this one. So hope that's not too much of a disappointment, but those will be coming up uh, in the next couple days. But that is going to do it for the Creighton 8S. I hope you all enjoyed the video out here today. I had an absolute blast with this thing. This car was a ton of fun, held up phenomenal, couldn't be happier with it. Um, definitely will be having the M2C racing, um, you know, new valving kit and the shock rods coming in for this thing. I'll be putting those things on this thing just to give a little better suspension in the back. But even the shock oil I did do it has definitely made a great improvement. But that's going to do it for the video today, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it and had as much fun watching it as I had making it. So until next time, y'all, be safe, be careful out there. Peace out, everybody.